So I am sure that when I am uh, when I am talking about this jargon, definitely there will be some questions which will come up. Okay. So I think do you have any queries related to mining because it's a very vast subject. So I'm open to listen to those. Yeah, uh, Niladri, it seems like uh, mining is a very huge uh, area. So uh, I simply want to understand how can one be a miner? Like for example, if I want to be a miner, what is it is required for me to understand and what is it uh, required to, like, to have? Right, right, right. Sure, that's a very nice question. Okay. So uh, let me come to that. Okay. So and to come to that, uh, let me make a framework of uh, how you can make money uh, by Bitcoin. Okay, by crypto, not Bitcoin, but crypto. So basically, uh, there are three or four ways by which you can make or generate revenue from Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, so the number one, the first thing by which you can make a decent revenue uh, on a timely basis is uh, by putting up a mining machine. That is number one. Number two, uh, by doing trading. Okay. Number three, so trading or you can say that like flipping. In the crypto world, it is called flip. Basically, you uh, buy some other currency which is going high, and uh, so that is that will uh, that uh, again that comparison we will do in the stock market. That's a very long, long subject, but let me put the framework first. Uh, the question is, uh, I mean, just to add your, to your question, what is mining? So let me uh, add one more question before that. Ki, what are the ways by which a person can make money through crypto? Okay. So there are, like I said, first way is mining. Second way is trading or flipping the coin. Third way is uh, like, uh, uh, investing in a particular uh, project which you are uh, very sure that like which is going to give you uh, multiple multifolds of income so basically by investing okay and uh, then uh, the fourth thing is uh, like NFTs So basically these are the four ways, there are again various other ways also like uh, which is not so popular in India as of now, uh, which is like ETF. Um, so I will not make things complicated, I will make it very simple. So now coming back to your question, mining, like I said, when the transaction happens uh, for any cryptocurrency, purchase or sale happens. So that needs a computational power and because it is a decentralized approach one and because there is no particular company who is owning Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency so they do not have that much of computational power with them basically they do not have the servers with them now but they do have those algorithms they do have those programs which generate tokens or which generates coins okay now there, there is again a difference between token and a coin so uh, as of now let us stick to the coin okay uh, or else it will make the things complicated so mining uh, for bitcoin there is a specific type of mining machine which is uh, called ant miner and there are also some different companies of uh, who manufacture a specific machine or hardware which is basically like a box which has a processor, which has a fan to pull it, which has some motherboard, which has some circuits. Basically, you have to connect by that machine, connect, plug in to that, that machine and connect it to the network and connect that machine to a mining pool, which will give you a percentage of revenue of all the computational power they are using for your machine. It might be that you are doing uh, you have switched on your machine for 24 bar 7 and based on the computation, based on the usage of your machine I mean, uh, in that particular mining pool, you might get some X percentage of the uh, uh, revenue which you have calculated for that mining pool. So one is one I talk, spoke about hand miner which is like the bit for the Bitcoin basically 
uh, and uh, there are uh, so in India we cannot import that product because it's a it's it's a different country product. You can just Google it out and um, so what you can do is you can basically build a computer. You can build a uh, desktop or a workstation with additional GPUs. GPUs is something graphical processing unit. I mean it is like a card which is fixed, uh, which is mostly used by the gamer, gaming industry. So GPUs uh, you can get uh, from the market uh, and there are many GPUs which can which will be available. Why GPUs are used? Because the microprocessor which is available in a normal desktop or computer cannot handle the computational power or cannot give that much of efficiency to calculate such a complex calculations of different, let's suppose there are hundreds and thousands and lakhs of transactions happening in a day and you are connected your box into that pool. So your machine's computational capacity has to be so much that you will be able to uh, do those computational activity for the minor mining pool. For that, you only microprocessor will not be sufficient. So, so what the miners do basically, uh, the miners or the people, miners are those people who have those mining machines. So the mining machines, if suppose I go and I, I buy the mining machine, so I put the different graphical card cards to make the computational capacity of that machine up to certain level so that it can calculate or it can be a part of that mining pool. Okay. So then when I did all these activities and uh, this is basically the calculation for this is hash rate. They say hash rate. So based on the hash rate, based on the graphical units, how much you will put, let's suppose you will put a 7 graphical card in one computer. So basically what you are, are you going to buy? You are going to buy a computer with a normal motherboard, hard disk, with an additional razor card. So that razor card will give, get connected to a mining uh, or let's suppose 6 or 7 graphic GPUs. And when you switch on the computer, the entire thing will switch on. And because it, it is also massive uh, thing, it might get heated up also. So you need to keep it at a cooler place. And again, it has to be clean most of the time because you cannot uh, keep it just like that ideally in the room and expect that it will work functioning, it will function smoothly. It might not happen like that. Depending on the climatic condition, if it is in a coastal area, if you are putting mining machine, it might not work that well. Uh, because the heat will, it is extreme climate. In During the summers, the heat goes up because of that the machines might get heated up so you have to ensure that ki the machine is not heated up uh, because if the machine gets heated up the efficiency of the machine comes down so even though your machine is connected to the mining pool and it it, uh, it deserves or it, it shows that ki this much of hash rate or this much of tera hash of uh, my, uh, mining capacity or computational capacity it has but that capacity might reduce because it is getting heated up and there is a chance when if it is unattended and it is in a closed room, it might be burn also. So you have to think of all those things. And specifically for mining, uh, the only challenge uh, which the miner faces is the electricity. Because a particular mining machine takes almost uh, uh, 1000 to 1200 watt for the capacity for the machine to run 24 bar 7, which is almost equivalent to Put a, like a, putting a, uh, switching on a heater or switching on a massive equipment of 15 amps or 16 amps like a, a AC uh, or like just imagine you are switching on an AC for almost 24 bar 7 so how much of that electricity units will be consumed in a, a home so that much of electricity will also be consumed for a mining machine so if I talk about my own experience uh, I had set up a mining machine in 2016 and 17 uh, wherein I was ma doing dual mining, I was mining two different currencies at the same time. I was connected to two different uh, or a pool which had multi -miner, multiple algorithm to uh, mining two different types of currency. Why? Because if the machine is okay and free, so it can be worked for different uh, uh, mining different currency as well. So when you are putting a mining machine, we will be definitely helping you out in doing that. So all you have to do is uh, please uh, send us a mail uh, in, in the email ID which is flashing with to you and we can give you, we can make a mining machine for you and we can 
also maintain the mining machine for you at your place. But as of now, for all the miners which I am, I am saying, uh, the basic thing what you need to understand is what coin you want to mine, how much of capacity of money you have at your disposal so that you have to buy a mining machine. Uh, when I bought my mining machine long back, it was it was like close to 2 to 3 lakh rupees. I had 7 mine, uh, GPUs, I had put them in a rig and it was working fine. I, had, I was mining Dodge and I was mining uh, uh, another currency, I think ICX or something. So two currencies I was mining. And uh, But yes, again, uh, thumb rule. You, if you are thinking that you will be, uh, that is a sustainable way of making money, uh, it might not be because the electricity consumption in a home might go more if you are thinking that whatever currency it mines i will be selling those currencies the mis actually i am talking about my mistake with which i did uh, i was thinking that ki, okay fine i have put a mining machine mining machine costed me around two three lakhs yeah on today's date the mining machine which i am talking about it might cost you five to six lakh rupees so uh, because of the appreciation of uh, the card the, the particular and the shortage of the chips which happened because of this corona time because of that, the uh, graphical card price have really shooted up. Companies like AMD, NVIDIA and all. So it, is, it has gone up like skyrocket. So definitely there will be, uh, when you think about uh, mining, it's uh, mostly an investment of approximately 5 to uh, 6, 7 lakh uh, based on uh, what cards you are buying, what processor you are buying, how much of RAM you are buying, what kind of machine you are buying based on all those things i think optimally it, it will cost you between five to seven lakh as on today's date and uh, again if you are thinking that okay fine i invested five to seven lakh rupees when i will get the return back basically return on investment you and if you are thinking that i will put it onto the mining of a particular coin and i will get that coin and i will sell that coin and i will pay the electricity bill it doesn't happen that way i please do not do this mistake, do not sell the coin which gets generated out of the mining uh, because you want to pay electricity. That if you do that, it, it, you, will be, you will be a big fool than me because I did that. So I would not definitely recommend to all my viewers to do that. Now, when you do a mining machine, so let's suppose you bought a mining machine, first of all you bought the hardware. And after you bought the hardware, you want you have configured that, and you have put the algorithm, and you have connected that to the mining pool. In the mining pool, there you have to give the wallet ID. Basically, it will be the ID in which all this mining, uh, whatever mining you do, whatever computational capacity you do, whatever uh, revenue comes to you, it comes and gets deposited in your wallet. So basically as I told you, wallet is nothing but your bank account. So you have to give your wallet ID in the algorithm when you are putting your uh, machine on a mining pool and whenever your machine starts working for the mining pool, whatever coins gets generated by all this computational capacity which the mining pool is using your server or mini server or you can say a small workstation or mining machine, whatever name you give, uh, so it comes to your wallet that money comes to your wallet. The reason why I am I saying is not to sell all those currency or coin to get that 5 lakh rupees or 7 lakh rupees which you have invested is because the moment when you are mining that particular value of that coin might be say for example x rupees for example okay and after certain days when you mine and let's suppose every day you are, you are mining and you are getting say 10 to 15 coins a day and over a span of 1 to 2 months it gets accumulated and it becomes let's suppose 2 three thousand coins okay so you have 2 three thousand coins of that crypto in your wallet okay now the beauty is if you just sell it that means you go to the exchange and you sell those coins you will get equivalent amount of money coming back to your account and you can withdraw that money but instead of that what i would recommend to my viewers is when you generate this much of coin by putting your mining machine that means rather than 
the first step what i told you no buying cryptocurrency that means you have 10000 rupees you buy 10000 worth of cryptocurrency right so use this currency as your investment that means whatever mining uh, uh, generated whatever currency it generated that is 2000 uh, coins of uh, let's suppose doge or some other currency or uh, because you cannot mine bitcoin in this kind of mining machine okay you need to have a specialized hand miner but if you are mining some other currency putting your mining machine and you have generated this 2000 coins this 2000 coins is again a crypto and it has certain value and what i'm saying is that value you can trade now comes the trading part okay so basically trading is something which is related to uh, you know, where uh, you can say that uh, in stock market in conventional stock market how do you get connected to a stock market how do you invest basically so 